Hello, this is the follow-up tutorial for Song for Our Daughter and you're in Dad Dad, sorry you're not in Dad Dad, you're in D-A-D, G-B-D, also known as Drop D and it's probably one of the more common tunings and I use a scale in this, this is all sort of, this song is all based around this scale. So that starts with an A, uh, a major 7 shape, in fact it is an A major 7 if you don't play the D strings, the top and bottom D string. So that would be an A major. So that's blank, blank, two, blank, two, blank. Up two frets to an A minor seven shape. So that's a minor seven shape. Major seven shape, major seven, minor, minor, major. And then the first chord is a slide up. So you slide from the third string, blank, blank, two to four. So blank, blank, four, two, three. And then kind of a D major seven, but just you're not, you're not barring, you're playing for open, so blank, Five blank, um, blank five seven blank seven blank blank five seven blank seven blank and that's five blank blank four five five blank blank four five though they may want you to tread in their tape. Wrong. So, and then there's a rundown with your clothes on the floor, which is that third chord descending the bass line semitone at a time. And that last position is quite a stretch, it's a five, five fret stretch. And you're, you will inevitably mute these strings because you're stretching and so you're only getting these top top strings in the bass line which is what you want with your clothes on Because this is this bottom string is dropped to a D. If you put uh, the second fret on, that makes it an E, and then it's just a E minor chord underneath. So two, 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 <clears throat> blank, blank, blank. You remember what I said? And then the scale. Out 
of it by barring the top four strings of the fifth fret. You got your way through it somehow. You got your way through it somehow. That's it. Don't remember what you said. So, quick recap. Sliding up to the fourth fret. So, blank, blank, four. going to show you Strange Girl too. So Strange Girl <clears throat> is that D7 but not open so you know and by open I mean you're leaving a lot of strings unfretted to ring. So you're, you're barring this chord which is um, a bar across the, the fifth fret leaving out this bottom string and then so five seven five seven five a passing chord and that is just bringing those two two fingers down two frets and then this is this is essentially if you didn't have the D string if you didn't have the bottom E string tuned down to a D it would be a sort of G7 chord but because the G is now here because you're down two frets you're just putting that bass note there so that is five five blank four three five five blank four three And then there's middle eight, and that is a bar across the God, seventh fret, and two two fingers on the um, God, on the ninth fret. So nine nine seven 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 seven. You change how you feel. It's good to break the wheel. Uh, 
perfect to see you and blow us all away. So that's those chords from earlier. You're changing all the time. It starts to blur the line. It's supposed to keep you safe. And you roll. So that's that. That's that same shape from up here on the seventh, ninth fret. So bar across the third fret, and then these two bass notes in the in the on the fifth fret. And you roll like a tidal wave. So back to that first chord shape. Roll like a tidal wave. And all of those should be, well, they might be very familiar sounding. Because this is the Crosby Stills and Nashy tuning, I'd say, drop D. Um, there you go. Have fun with that. And I guess this one, this tuning is quite often used for sort of bluesy things, um, which is not my area. So I can't help you there. All right then. Send me, send me your progress. And um, 